Today we're going to take a look at the brand new Star Collecting sets for the Age of Sigma. There's five new ones this week and they're all packing heat. It's packing bits. Make sure you stay in the trenches by becoming a supporter over on Patreon and also scoring yourself some free miniature swag in the process. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Check out our site, spikybits.com, for all the hot hobby tutorials, news, rumors on all your favorite hobby topics. And head on over to the longwar.net. That's the home of the battle reports for exclusive content, early access videos, and more. Become a veteran of the long war today. What's up, Age of Sigmar Maniacs? This week is a good week for you. I'm Rob Bear, and today, like I said, we're gonna show you the brand new Star Collecting boxes for the Age of Sigmar. Now, these are really cool. There's a uh, huge savings on most of these, you know, at least um, $50 to on um, most of them. You get you get off. It's a great way to start getting into the hobby of Age of Sigmar, picking up something, a good starting force that has a, you know, a, basically a battle line troop, you know, some sort of elite choice and some sort of like um, leader kind of a, uh, a headquarters choice here you know mixing 40k and <laughs> aids of sigma right there but you get you get my meaning right so these also come with a neat little formation or war scroll battalion so to speak mixing more 40k and age of sigmar terminology in here that helps benefit the box you start with so a lot of these are about 500 points if you point them out on the uh, age of sigmar scale but what's cool is they kind of match up against each other pretty decent and you know you see you and your buddy can get one and pick it up and then they, they always have suggestions for you know how to make them bigger but you know as far as that goes there's there's always a great deal i mean um there's always a reason to pick one of these up, whether you're a veteran or whether you're kind of like a uh, a new player, because uh, for the money savings, it's great for a veteran. Like, hey, maybe uh, I want this guy, but this guy has 30 bucks, but you know, I throw another 55 with it. And that's assuming you don't get a discount because all of these are $85 across the board, right? So then you're like, mm, well, you know, if I get, if, say I get 20% off at 85 bucks, that's $16 off. And you know that now I'm down to like 70. I feel like I put another 40 with this and I get two box sets out of it. When this right here, this one right here, I believe goes for 60 bucks itself. You know, the Gore Grunts is, man, it's just, it's just a great deal. It's a really, it's an incentive to buy. And game, let's face it y'all, Games Workshop's never gonna, air quotes, lower the prices. But what they will do is give you great bundle deals like on stuff like this. Now we've showed you a lot of, a lot of these kits. We've unboxed this stuff on here. We have almost 800 videos on this channel. So we're not gonna spend a whole lot of time showing you each and every sprue, but I'm basically gonna open it up and show you what comes in here. So obviously you get the Art Boys with a new color instruction manual. And these are really cool because you can basically see, you know, where the yellow is. It basically tells you the plane that you're supposed to glue all the parts to. It also comes with, the war scroll for each of these guys now some of these kits can make multiple you know war scrolls basically like you can make the art boys um the the uh, regular oruk art boys right there and then they've got the multiple language versions of it too so it serves like two purposes so here is the uh, formation as well and we'll talk about that in a second and then of course the instruction manual for the gore gruntas and then there they are you get all three of those sprues right so really cool kit. We've seen a lot of these. Uh, check out the battle report here on a Spiky Bits for the um, Oruks versus Nurgle. And then you've got the R boys right here, which are their troops choices. And then of course the big new round. I think this is, I wanna say, what is this? Seven, this isn't 90. This is, I wanna say this is seven. They're calling this the 70 millimeter diameter oval uh, for the new cavalry base. And then the, inst uh, the instructions and everything for the war channel right here. And speaking of the war channel, he gets a great new little bonus with the formation here, which this guy isn't good in combat. So be careful when you're playing with him um, in the Age of Sigmar. But what he is good at is buffing up all the other dudes around him, which, I mean, let's face it, at the end of the day, that's kind of what you want. In Age of Sigmar, getting plus one to hit and getting, you know, plus one to wound or something like that is head and shoulders above a lot of uh, other... Uh, benefits you can get out there. I don't know how this, I swear this thing's put together by robots. I can't do it. Eh. So let's take a look at the formation right here. So you get every unit in this box set and then the ability to smash them. Fired up by their war chance. The Smasher Boys are always good for a good scrap. You can add one to all hit rolls made for the Smasher Boy units in combat phase while they're within 10 inches of the War Channer. Note that the War Channer also uses his Frenzy of Violence ability on a Smasher Boys unit. You would add two to their hit rolls instead. Getting plus two to hit in Age of Sigmar is pretty banana. So this is a great formation that you could pick up to really augment um, your Oruk. Um, 
Iron Jaws army out there, especially when you're getting things that get like four and five attacks already hitting on twos. Ugh, that's just straight brutal, I feel like. Now, overall, price tag on this one, like I said, $85. If you price it out, now, the normally it doesn't come with 10, normally it comes with a box of 20 Ard Boys, but if you divide that price in half, and then add in the War Chanter and the Gorg Runners, you're looking at an MSRP of $144 for a savings of $60 on that box set right there, which for an $85 box set, I think you can do the math. That's a good percentage off. <laughs> Next up is the Flesh Eater Quartz. Uh, again, another great um, start collecting box from Age of Sigmar right here. It comes with the big Billy Badass Ghoul King on Terror Geist, which you can actually make two different ways. There's the formation right there. Um, and then you've got the Crypt Horrors which are this sprue right here, which we've unboxed as well on the channel. Those are the, the big uh, crazy flying guys, which move super hella quick in this uh, in this game as well. Here's the Ghoul King on Tether Yeast, and then the Crypt Ghouls themselves. Now the Crypt Ghouls normally come in a bigger size box, but we'll get to that here in a second. And then here's the base for the Ghoul King himself. Now, amazing, you know, great, great detailed stuff. Here's the... Um, the terror, you can make the terror guys or you can make the ghoul king on terror guys and of course you can have the little dude separately too running around the tabletop right there so there it kind of gives you an idea and of course you can make the zombie dragon which is the kind of like the um the super saiyan version of that if you want to go all the way i think it's 500 points i think in age of sigmar i'm not exactly sure oh no i did it again i don't know how to put it back together i need the robot arms to make these things better anyways <laughs> So let's take a look at the formation, boom. Now this one's kind of cool. Obviously you take one of each because that's what comes in the box. When a ghoul king under undertakes a hunt, he's often accompanied by retainers who fight in fanatical devotion to his presence. In the combat phase, add one to the attack characteristic of each melee weapon used by a royal hunt models that are within 10 inches of the ghoul king. So not too shabby right there. Always having an extra attack or a plus one attack is definitely a bonus in the Age of Sigma. So looking at the price point for this bad boy right here, uh, let's see, Flesh Eater Quartz is $85 retail, of course, and it books out to $125 retail when you take, uh, when you half the price of the Crypt Ghouls only coming in a squad of 10 in here, which is still a savings of $40, which for an $85 box set, I guess that's only a 50% savings. Oh no. <laughs> you know what I mean? Next up is the Corn Bloodbound. Now, these guys uh, came in the starter set, got their own separate multi part kit, and then, of course, you got the um, what are these guys? Uh, the uh, Skull Crushers, not the Blood Crushers, not the Demon version, but they recasted those two, and then the um, Slaughter Priest right there. Very cool stuff in this kit. Now, we've unboxed, of course, all of this as well, but we're going to take another look at it. There's the, and I like the back of these, uh, these formation things. They're like, hey, this is what you can make. This is what you can buy to make your army better. So here's the multi-part blood, um, blood, uh, shoot, blood warriors kit right here. Not the, the, um, kind of snap fit, I guess they call it version that comes in the Age of Sigmar and the new easy to build guides right here. These are a sweet, fully posable kind of, uh, doodads that, I mean, I, for the price, you can't really, I mean, they are what they are, but the, you know, the push fit ones are just as good in my opinion. And then here's the Blood Crushers, uh, the new 70 mil base, and then of course the Slaughter Priest guy right there, which nothing, nothing quite too new. Everything's on a 32 mil base, good to go. Now, as far as rules go, I'm sure they have some sort of augment to their plus one to attack or reroll wound or something, just judging by the way corn works. Let's see, Murderous Blessing. The Slaughter Priest can pray for a murderous blessing in addition to using his blood fuel prayer. So if he does so, roll a dice on a three or more. Until your next hero phase, he can reroll failed wound rolls made for him and other units on his murder band that are within eight. On a one, he suffers a mortal wound. Okay. I like re I like just rerolling. That's pretty good. <laughs> again, more great combat abilities for these here. Now this, again, is an $85 box set and it books out to, even with the three Skull Crushers, because now it's six Skull Crushers to a box for a hundred bucks. So even when you slim that down to the three that come in here, you're looking at an MSRP of $152 for savings of $67 on that box set. So very nice, me lucky. Next up is the good guys, the Sigmarines, the Stormcast Eternals, which another great box, all multi-part plastics, not those buster push fit ones that come in the starter set, which I actually prefer because it's less parts with the other, but I'll never publicly admit to that. 
So here's the uh, here's the formation here, and then of course the Liberator sprues again. Uh, pretty much the same thing that you get in the starter box, but just you know lots more parts and shoulder pads and things. And then the prosecutors right here, which the cool thing about the prosecutors is they come with the glaives and the extra swords, and you know they can do the spinning, deflecting attack and and all that. You can't get that out of the box, so keep that one in mind right there. And then all the instruction manuals and such for all that, and of course. Uh, what's his face right here, the uh, Lord Celestent, um, the particular pose. Now, I don't know, I remember this one coming in a clam pack, but then I see him here on the sprue and I forget, like, how did he come on a clam pack? Oh, that's because that's a, the, this is the, the two-man Liberator sprue right here. That is not what that is. So this actually is the recut sprue that comes in the new easy to build kit and also is basically the same parts from the Age of Sigmar just put into um, slim down and put into this and this normally sells for $15 that's the new box we saw last week so what I was really talking about was the Lord Celestin which of course is a clam pack and he's right there boom so boxing all this back up and you're probably wondering what do I do with all this like crazy stuff that I unbox every week well as if you haven't figured it out yet we actually send all this stuff out to our patreon supporters that pledge um, their support for uh, per video that we do on here so you can check that out there's probably all sorts of links it was in the intro check that out because um, you know if you pledge dollar fifty or more a video you get a sweet swag sh shipment in the month in in the mail every month it's kind of like a little loot crate but like you know for the hobby I guess you know from the stuff we unbox here and also you know I like to play Santa Claus and you know pick up some other stuff and make it all nice and uh, nice and cool and um, it's really fun I, I like to do it we have a bunch of supporters over there so all the stuff you see here anything that I don't keep for personal use or around the studio here we send right back out all the forge rolled all this stuff it's pretty amazing so here's the here is the formation and this one is pretty good. 12 inches within the Lord Celestin. They have a three up save. Wow, they just, Space Marines just got Space Marine Err, I guess. <laughs> I like that one. I can see a lot of people picking this one up. And another cat, another thing to remember too is this set right here is a great addition if you pick up this, if you have the starter set, the half from uh, the Age of Sigmar starter set, that's a great supplement to it because that gets you up to the full squad. So you get the two liberators. There's three that come in the box, right? But you gotta make to pay the points. You gotta have a squad of five. The same with the prosecutors. To make the points, you gotta have a squad of five. So this is actually a good pickup. Squad of five. The guy you can't get in the starter makes a squad of five right there. So now, as far as retail goes, you're looking at eighty-five dollars, of course. But it only books out to one sixteen because of the two retributors. Um, it, it, depending on how you look at it, my I only priced them out at the fifteen dollars because I know that that starter kit that you can pick up for fifteen dollars. So there might, might, the math might be a little off right there, but still, it, either way you look at it, it's a great deal. It's a great pickup all at once. And the last start collecting box, the Sylvaneth or Sylvaneth, depending on uh, potato potato, what side of the Atlantic you're on, I suppose, is a great one. It doesn't. The only new model it has is uh, the Branch Wraith uh, chick right there with her little. Uh, Attack grub, dryads, of course, and a big ass tree man, which you can make, you know, pretty much any way you want, um, based on what you're kind of feeling them as. Those are the great three part kit right there. So sliding this one open, of course, it's the bigger, bigger format box because there's a lot of sprues in here. You get the formation, you get the dryads. Now these things have been around for years. I'm wondering when they made these. What's the copyright on these bad boys? Copyright is 2005. Yeah, dryads have been around for a while. They've gotten their mileage out of them. And then, of course, you got the Tree Lord, uh, two sprues right there, which we saw come out, I want to say two years ago, three years ago. We've unboxed that in the past on the channel as well. The Branch Wraith instructions, of course. And then that's the little clamp pack that just recently came out right there. Then you've got all of your 32 mil bases because now the dryads are all on 32 mil. Now, I don't know why they put this in here because I feel like this is a little too small for the tree lord so uh your tree lord won't fit on this or maybe it will maybe that's what they hmm. maybe that's what they're supposed to go on that's really interesting i wonder that just seems small to me i don't know we'll research it and get back to you but that base seems wrong so there's that and then once we put these all back in the box we're looking at the formation here, which I imagine they just get like free wounds and stuff. Let's see. Um, during each battle, the host branch with and the tree lord heal one wound lost early in the battle, while the dryads add one model to a unit that was slain earlier in the battle. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, dryads are a great like kind of battle line, kind of front, front, front uh, 
kind of hold the line kind of thing, flank around on the left and right. Getting all your wounds back on the Branch Wrath and the Tree Lords is pretty good because there's other abilities that let them get D3 wounds back and such. So, I mean, when you're just doing damage and then they're just getting everything back, ugh, it's so brutal. Like, Nurgle does that, the Crit Ghouls, all the, um, all the Soul Blight stuff. It's just, it's very hard to chew through it and it's, uh, to get through it all. So that's pretty much it for all of the new start collecting boxes this week for Age of Sigmar. Now, I'm sure there's still some more out there and we know that there are more factions on the way. We're hearing the, uh, uh, the Shadowkin, which would probably be the Dark Elves, uh, will be on the way soon as well as um, hopefully some some of the, the dwarfs, the steelhead uh, dirt, and we shall see. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Deleted scenes, bonus content, and all the interviews and post-game wrap-up videos can be located in the Hall of Veterans on thelongward.net. Visit thelongward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. Thelongward.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos.